honestly been great to just be back doing what we do, regardless of everything going on in the world right now. It's good to be back, good to be back with the girls, a new group. Uh, I'm just really excited to be here. Stony Brook basketball is back in full swing. The men's team headed by Gino Ford, the women by Caroline McCombs, both of whom agree their squads have come ready, despite facing many obstacles over the last few months. Um, we don't get to spend as much time as we want to face to face, um, but you know, through FaceTime we do, you know, they have their buddies, so they do little buddy dates and, and different things to try to really stay connected. I think the COVID thing was a real challenge for us from uh, you know, May until August. At this point, the challenge is avoid it um, and because we can't have, can't have a positive uh, with the NCAA guidance. I think it's been tough for everybody. Um, we have to adjust to every single thing. It's honestly a whole new world. We had a lot of Zoom calls. We had group chats to keep in touch. And I feel like everyone kind of had that same hunger of being back on the court, so nobody wanted to come here a step behind another person. They all came here ready to go and be prepared from day one. Preparation will be key for a men's team with a slew of new faces. Just six of the 14 Seawolves on Geno Ford's roster have logged minutes for SBU. They were picked to finish fifth in the 10-team America East. Hey, we've been picked fifth, sixth, seventh before and finished up in the top two, and that you know that's our expectations to compete for a championship. You know, we got a lot of new faces, but honestly, it doesn't even feel that way. I feel like it's been easy to gel with these guys on and off the court. There's a bunch of good dudes, and it's been pretty good. On the women's side, Caroline McCombs' group looks to pick up where they left off, amassing a 14-2 conference record en route to their first ever America East regular season title. Expectations remain high. I feel like I say this every single year, but everyone can score, everyone can play defense. Right now we're just trying to figure out like the pieces to the puzzle, figure everybody out, because everyone's coming from different schools, um, different programs, so everyone's just trying to figure everyone out. You know, we always focus on the little things. So, you know, just, just our communication, our defense, you know, we'll, we'll play off of, uh, you know, our defense will create our offense for us. So, you know, really just trying to make sure that everybody understands the standard of the program and the staples that we must have every day. And in a season with so much uncertainty, both Ford and McCombs agree, a little veteran leadership can go a long way. Yeah, you gotta love your seniors. Um, and with India, you know, just being really almost a four-year starter for us, she's progressed every single year. Um, you know, she's uh, learning her role more as a vocal leader, you know, this year. Um, she's always one that shows it by her play on the court and in her actions as a person. Um, but just really trying to help her really just embrace that fully. Mo Mogi is not the same guy that people remember. Uh, he's a much better player, uh, much better uh, leader in terms of vocal. He's kind of found his voice. We're getting some of that from the returners, which is honestly where it needs to come from because the newer guys uh, don't have a lot of experience to draw on. You know, they've got uh, zero career points, so it's hard to have a big voice in the locker room when you haven't done it on game night. Game day, though, is just around the corner. The men start at Marist. The women will host Fordham. It all gets started on Wednesday, November 25th. Yeah, we get to play at home. Uh, so excited to be here and just, you know, put on a uniform. Uh, it's been a while, uh, you know, as coaches, you know, we're just trying to prepare every day as best we can. I really appreciate that besides COVID and everything going on, that people are making an effort to try and make a season happen. I'm pretty sure all the coaches, players in not only Stony Brook, but all schools around are really looking forward to the season. So I'm pretty excited. From the Seawolf sidelines, I'm Johnny Wincock.